Hey guys, it's Aaron. Wook just did a mod spotlight or a block spotlight on the Force engine and all the ins and outs. And I wanted to kind of give you guys um, an example of a real world application for this. Uh, so what I've got over here, I've got a rancher, which actually shears the sheep and milks the cows. So the, uh, the wool goes through the item tesseract, the milk, which um, it's a little low because I haven't got power going to this right now. The milk goes through the Tesseract. And I'm Tesseracting it straight to my engines over here. You can put it in a tank if you'd like, obviously. Um, but how I have this set up, I've got the Tesseract with the milk going to the engines. So they stay full of milk as long as the rancher has power. Um, I've got a squeezer set up with an export bus for force gems and an import bus to take the force shards out of this slot in the event that I do get force shards. So this is kind of an ugly setup for the reason that um, I just kind of threw it together. I've got the gates on the bottom of the machines so that the engines only turn on when either of these two machines can store energy or when this one has an empty tank then it'll start working again. Uh, but if we kick these things on, there go the engines, hopefully, yeah, there they go. And if we take a look, they're giving 10 MJ. They're going to stay full of milk as long as my rancher is running, like I said. And they're going to stay full of liquid force as long as I have force gems in my AE system to squeeze. So I just wanted to show you a, a real world application of this. You can make it a lot prettier. Uh, but um, this is just, uh, you know, what I had set up in the early game to get my base going. Water is just as easy if you use an ender tank or something, um, or even an aqueous accumulator. But if you can get 10 MJ instead of 8, you might as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.